Get some help in here. I think this guy needs some epi. Have you given any epi? Have I given any epi? Well, uh, should I give, uh, this is the one to a thousand, this is an infusion, this is the one in 10,000? Why are we making this video? So we have found that medical students and beginning residents have a hard time knowing how to manage using epi. First, a few caveats. We know there's more to resuscitation than just epi, but we're ignoring the rest of it for right now. We're going to break it down into two scenarios, one being a code where there's no vital signs at all, and the second being that the patient is wobbly. What do I mean by wobbly? What I mean is that the patient has vital signs, but they're not great and they're getting worse. So here are two types of epis. This is concentrated epi, one milligram and one milligram. This is what you give when there is a code and there are no vitals. So this is a code, he's asystolic. Which do I give? Right, so we have no vital signs. None. So we need the full dose undiluted epi. Okay, concentrated epi? Yes, one milligram. One milligram it is. This is an infusion of epi. It can be 10 mics or four mics. And this is what you give when the vitals are wobbly. All right, this is not a code. We do have vital signs, but he's wobbly. Okay, do not give the concentrated epi. Don't give, give the, the concentrated epi. Give the dilute epi. Okay, let's the dilute epi. Let's try 10 or 20 mics. 10 or 20 mics it is. Let's do a little concentration experiment here. This is really concentrated epi. This is one milligram and one cc. This is a Mont Blanc ink cartridge and they weren't, they didn't pay to be in this. This shows just how concentrated this stuff is. Think of this as extremely concentrated epi. This is the stuff you give in a code. This is what you usually see in the code box. This is 100 mics per cc. You see it's not quite as dark as the ink cartridge, but it's still pretty concentrated. These, the concentrated ones, these are the ones you give in a code only when there's no vital signs. Asystole, pulseless electrical activity, V-fib, that's when you give the concentrated stuff. Let's look at an epinephrine infusion. And what I did is I put a little, I put a little bit of the epi in here so you can see that it's pretty thin color-wise. See the difference? So an epi infusion, maybe 10 mics, 4 mics, this you would give a cc or two at a time. You do have to go up geometrically if they get in trouble, but at least when you start, for the wobbly patient who's a little bit unstable, the pressure's a little bit low, but you still have vital signs, that's when you give little boluses of a dilute infusion. If you just remember that, you'll at least have a grasp of how epinephrine is used in an emergency situation. I'm lost with epi though, because one to 10,000, one to 1,000, one to 500,000, how do I know how much I'm giving? So anytime you're confused, just take the bigger number, so here would be 10,000. One to 10,000, take the bigger number, 10,000. A million divided by the bigger number, and that'll tell you how many mics per cc you're giving. All right, so we take a million and we divide by 10,000, the big number here. A million divided by 10,000, and that gives us what? That gives us 100 mics in every cc. That's concentrated, that's the kind of code dose you'd give. If I would then give 10 cc's of this, I've given a full milligram, that's a code dose. So let me see this other one. So here you have one milligram, it's one to 1,000. One to 1,000, so let me see now. So I go a million and I divide it by the big number you told me, a million divided by 1,000, and that's gonna give me, leave me with 1,000, 1,000 mics per cc. So 1,000 mics per cc, that's a milligram, so that's a code dose, so I get it. Now, what about one of these, like, what would a few dilutions be? How would that work? So what if you have one to 100,000? Okay, so if we have one to 100,000, then let me see, a million divided by 100,000, so that'd be 10 mics per cc. Right. Okay, and then any other, so one to so one 200, to, Okay, one to 200,000, then that would be five mics per cc. Okay, I get it. So if I have a one to, 200,000, now I got five mics, and that's the dilute dose that we're talking about. Now I get it. Now I'm going to quiz you. You have a patient, no vitals. That's when you have to use the concentrated epi. Now you have a patient, they don't look so good. Their vitals are, are, are low, their blood pressure is low, their heart rate's up, 
you think he might be going into bronchospasm? That's when I'd use the epi solution, 10, 20 mics. If I have to, I'll give more, but at least I'll start with 10, 20 mics. If I would, in that case, give the concentrated epi, the vital signs will go through the roof, and I don't want that. So now we understand all about epi. <laughs> Yay! We hope that this little video has taken all the confusion you have about epi and absolutely swept it away. Anything else we got to do, you think?